1994. <laughs> he is just one man coming to a stupid little motel in a tiny town like Gandidia. He will not change anything. Have you been practicing for when we win tiny Sure. Town? Our nature strips are mowed and our fences are all painted. If someone missed a wee, then someone must have painted. Cause no one... This is the room. Sorry, I'm, I don't recognize you. Where are you from? Slippy Downs. Oh. Do you want to have a baby? So do you have any genetic health problems? <laughs> you know that I should know about? Spina Yes. No. No, that's Russian for yes. My grandfather is Russian. Yes. Duh. Right. I've, I've always wanted to go to Russia. Oh, haven't. It's too cold. <laughs> well, it's too cold here. What about congenital heart problems? Uh, what about them? You got any of them? Uh, none that I know of. You never had gonorrhea? Okay, none of your business. Mm, that means yes. No, that means no. Yes, in Russian. <laughs> You're smart. Mm, duh. <laughs> Just um, put your leg there. <laughs> my entire life. To show Australia what we're made of, we may not have a big banana, or a big pineapple, or even a big merino, but we're tidy, us and we're goddamn God damn tidy people. Now Tony Blair is coming tonight, and I will not let you ruin our chances. Besides, you're not from Gandidia, you wouldn't understand. Where's the rest of them? What? Well, I don't think it was a headless torso that rented the room. Where are the other people? <laughs> Not married. What you doing? <laughs> huh. A feminine hand. Oh, perhaps Mr. Chang. Oh no. The laundromat and penis. Oh, did you find my little penis? Extras? Yeah, dance, with whipped cream, with whipped cream, kinky stories, but no penetration. I beg your pardon. Oh, I've got a slut. I was runner up in the Small Business Awards in Slippy Downs in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Great Hazel is dead. I know. His friends are in on it from the bus company. There's a little poo on the ground. <laughs> what? In his house, and I emptied the poo flakes into the air vents of his car so that when he turned the ignition on, he'd get a blast of his bitterness in his face. Ingenious. <laughs> See? Mm. Life change. Mm. I had gastric bypass surgery. Then I had the skin cut off and tanned. <laughs> 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 I carry my baggage around everywhere. So Craig Hazel, the bus driver, came in to rough up Tony Clare's State Minister for Tourism, but not recognising him, found Jack Quackerbush, who were instead trying to commit suicide. He got interrupted, panicked, fought back, and died. And then the say yeah, and in the morning when I woke up and I had honey and hubba bubba matted through my hair, and P.I. and permanent marker on my face, my training bra undone, my finger in a glass of cold water, lying in a pool of my own piss. <laughs> yeah. Well, after that, I just wanted to move somewhere I could be anonymous, you know? Somewhere I could eat four slices of cake and not have to hide in a cupboard. <laughs> so I packed up and I moved. Slippy down. <laughs>